हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द रीजनरेटिव साइकिल और द रीजनरेटिव रेफ्रिजरेशन साइकिल एंड दिस रीजनरेटिव रेफ्रिजरेशन साइकिल it has the following components first is the evaporator then compressor condenser now this is the heat exchanger that is the regenerator and then expansion device and then back to evaporator the cycle is anti clockwise cycle from 6 to 1 the refrigerant it is evaporated in the evaporator from 1 to 2 it takes heat from the regenerator from 2 to 3 the refrigerant it is compressed and it, the pressure and temperature rises from 3 to 4 the heat is rejected to the atmosphere in the condenser from 4 to 5 the heat is rejected in the regenerator from 5 to 6 the refrigerant it is expanded in the expansion device or the capillary or the throttle device and similarly on the ph chart the cycle looks looks like this from 6 to 1 that is from 6 to 1 it is heat is taken in the evaporator from 6 to 1 from 1 to 2 the heat it is taken in from the regenerator that means this portion it acts as the condenser and this portion it acts as an evaporator so it takes the heat so from 1 to 2 heat is taken so superheating from 1 to 2 superheating is done from 2 to 3 the pressure it is increased in the compressor from 2 to 3 from 3 to 4 this point is 4 saturated liquid line from 3 to 4 heat is rejected in the condenser from 3 to 4 from 4 to 5 it is the subcooling subcooling it is in the regenerator from 4 to 5 that means this region this is the subcooling and this region it is the superheating from 4 to 5 it is subcooling this region 4 to 5 and 5 to 6 it is isenthalpy process or the enthalpy remains constant in the expansion device or the throttling device so 5 to 6 it is the throttling process 5 to 6 and you should remember that ideally if we take 100% efficiency or no irreversibility in the system then this superheat it is equal to the subcool and that is that is the difference in the it is the this line represent 1 to 2 it is equal to 4 to 5 that means difference h2 minus h1 h2 minus h1 it will be equal to h4 minus h5 if we are considering 100% efficiency and no irreversibility that means this heat that is rejected from this from 4 to 5 it will be taken in from 1 to 2 so this is the regenerative vcr cycle or generally it is said to be regenerative cycle all meaning are same regenerative cycle regenerative vcr cycle regenerative vapor compression refrigeration system cycle regeneration re regeneration cycle regenerative refrigeration cycle all meaning are same and this is the cycle and this is the ph chart and i hope you have understood And if you found this video helpful, please press the like button. Please share this video on social media, and do watch my other videos. All the links are appearing on the screen right now. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button below. Please check the description once for more of my video links and social media links. In the next video, I will be explaining some more topics. Till then, take care. Bye bye.